All right, today I'm going to work on this boot. I'm going to take the uh, stirrup off, which I'm going to have to probably cut off because it's been there for a while. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to do the boots off of the uh, cowboy because it'll be a lot easier for me to create these things. And uh, I've got the measurement that I've taken off the boots that I've got on the cowboy now. And uh, it's just a matter of trying to work it out. Well, I'm going to try to keep it in camera, but I'm not certain I can do that. Because right now i got my horse in the way. <laughs> I'm going to have to change the camera around to where I'm working in the camera. It'll be a lot easier for me to keep both boots exactly the same length and uh, width. And uh, it'll just work out better this way. I'm using a thick armature because I want to be able to push this up into the leg once I heat up the metal to uh, melt it into the leg. And that way I can get the uh, inside of the boot as well as the outside part of it. I mean, I'm talking about the part that's showing and the part that ain't showing. Now this is the length of the boot I've got on there now. And I just want to double check and make sure I'm good. Yeah. Now the toe of the old boots were round. They weren't pointed like modern day boots.
Okay, what I'm doing is adding the spurs to the uh, boot. I don't know why I stress about things like this. But I do. That's one boot. Now let's do the other one. I won't be videoing this one because it's going to be just a repeat of what I did on the other one. All right, be right back. All right, almost almost done with the uh, bell, the uh, boot, and uh, just a matter of putting the spur on. Time to put the buckle on. Yeah, I could have done this on the horse, on the cowboy, but it would have been really difficult. And, uh, It would be near impossible to uh, get both boots exactly the same size. This works out great. Oh, man. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to get the boot on. All right, I took the one foot off, and I'm going to get my alcohol lamp and heat up my armature and push it in. Oh, that worked out perfect on both sides. Okay, it worked. Both sides are on and they look great. Now, I just need to uh, paint them so that uh, they match the color of my uh, clay. Okay. It's satisfying to get to this point. I've been waiting a long time to paint those boots to look like the clay. For those of you not familiar with what I'm doing, because you're new to my channel, 
I took a, a sample of my clay to a local paint shop and hardware store and had it matched for color to a indoor house paint, a matte finish or flat finish house paint. And uh, so that uh, when I'm using a foreign material, other than the uh, J matte clay that I normally use, the uh, I can make it look like the clay surrounding it, and it won't be distracting when somebody sees a photograph of the clay. It doesn't affect the casting in bronze at all. It just takes away questions of what is that material. Okay, I got to repair that right there uh, where the uh, shap is and uh, I'm happy. The whole thing turned out beautiful. All right, that's the uh, burr under the saddle. And uh, that's it today. Tomorrow I'll uh, work on the hand over here, the uh, left hand. It'll be holding a uh, quirk, a writing quirk. I've got to go uh, put the uh, lariat on the saddle. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. In fact, I might put a lariat in his hand. That's probably what I'll, I don't know. I'll decide tomorrow. But I'm happy the way this is turning out. All right, everybody. Good night and uh, see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.